Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss data analytics with respect to receivables. And so when it comes to receivables, there's like really one big kind of hot button issue where data analytics can come in super handy for companies. And that is basically to identify risky customers and therefore help the company take proactive steps to collect what they're owed. So remember, a receivable is when a customer owes you money. And so the problem with receivables, the problem with extending credit to customers is that, yeah, everyone's probably pretty trustworthy that's doing business with you and they're gonna try to pay, but the fact is they don't always. Um, things come up, there's financial hardships, et cetera, et cetera. Numerous reasons why somebody may not pay a, a debt that they owe. And so your receivables are an area of high risk because you've already let the product walk out of the door, you haven't collected the cash and you're trusting that you're gonna get paid that cash. So what data analytics allow you to do is kind of on an ongoing basis to analyze what the current state of your receivables are. How much does everyone owe you? How past due is it? How likely is it to get paid? So forth and so on. And so that sounds like a lot to keep track of. And what companies tend to do is they will create a receivable dashboard that they can access for kind of just a quick overall assessment of what's going on with the ability to drill down into deeper detail. And so these dashboards, um, they're typically based on, hey, here's what your receivables look like. Although you, you could back them up in time and say, historically, here's what receivables look like. And you could even do a, a comparison of, does your current state of receivables look like old state of receivables? They're interactive, so it's not just this static thing that you look at. It's something that you can actually um, excise additional information out of if you need it. Um, and it's usually a highly visual summary of basically, the, as I say here, the receivable position of the company. So one thing is, now I know this picture is super, super generic, but just to kind of get the point across is one thing you might see is, say, um, a graph that looks like this on your dashboard. And so what this graph may represent is, hey, here's our uh, uh, amount of kind of uh, customers who are not overdue. And here's the amount of customers who are only, say, 10 days overdue. And here's 20 days and 30 days. And here's three months and here's six months, right? And so it's a nice, easy way to simply say, hey, are most of our customers either not overdue or, you know, semi-overdue? Um, and, and what portion of our customers uh, are, are things looking pretty bad? Are things looking like we may not collect the money? easy way to see it in a visual form. Or you might see a pie chart like this uh, that is basically like, hey, what is the uh, risk of our, our entire receivables portfolio in general? So, you know, this portion of the portfolio is good. It's low risk. This portion is mid risk. This portion is high risk. Again, it's easy to see. Notice this is a generic picture. But if I told you that's what it represents, you'd be able to say, hey, this company has a little over 50% of their portfolio of receivables in really good shape and only, you know, less than a quarter of their receivables in bad shape. You know that without any words, without anything else on here, right? And so that's the point of these dashboards. Now, typically, these dashboards, you can drill down into more detail. So you could actually click, you know, say that portion of the pie chart. And then over here, you'd get a population of details about which customers are in that portion of the pie chart. And you could organize it by how much do they owe you, right? Who are the biggest pieces of that pie chart? And then you could click those customers and you'd see what transactions are part of that pie chart and the individual prices of the transactions and so forth and so on. You got the high level dashboard, tells you a quick, easy picture, um, uh, just in that nice visual medium, but then you have the ability to drill down into the details. And by doing this, you're able to see whether or not that bad end of things is getting out of control. You're able to click it and see who's in that bad end of things. And then you're able to take kind of proactive steps to reach out to those customers and to maybe figure out a deal um, to get that money in before it ends up being a problem and you don't get it at all. That's the idea of data analytics um, with respect to receivables. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you found it helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.